Alrighty, guys. <clears throat> Welk! I got a bit of a cough. What <laughs> the fuck? I don't know if I can go on for my day, dude. Might have to go back to sleep. <laughs> All right, um, well, welcome to the OSRS podcast. This is uh, the RuneScape podcast where we talk about RuneScape related things of RuneScape related content creators. I am Mitt Madcat, one of your hosts, followed by. What's going on, guys? Rex here, as always. And Rice Cove. So today we have Guy for Us All, a uh, fellow YouTube content creator for Old School RuneScape. He's also Dabble on the other RuneScape as well for video series. Welcome. Thank you. thank you, thank you, dude. He's so cute. Look at him. He is a. He is. A, this guy's amazing. Look at him. Oh my god, he's like Rakesy shaved in a way, kind of. He's, our, he's the cutest <laughs> guest we have. Yeah, it, man, he's got like blue hair. What are you talking about? Is it blue or green? Uh, it's tell. supposed to be blue, but it's uh, it's kind of fading away. I uh, dude, I dyed my hair general. once, and not for a charity. Mm-hmm. I wasn't a good person. This was just for donations, mm-hmm. just straight money. And I dyed it straight red. <laughs> and I was going to community college, but I didn't know you have to keep dyeing it. So it started turning to the McDonald's orange. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Mm-hmm. So gross. I oh, fucked boy. up so hard. Oh, man. Yep, that's what happens. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to start with a Q&A for guides for us all. Uh, Rice, do you want to okay. start it off since you know him best? All right. Okay. So uh, let's see. You started off playing. Wait, was Warframe your first content that you you did on YouTube, or was it kind of like? I mean, on, you just did before. On, it's like something I just did before. Before I did oh, that, okay. I, I like you know the channel's called Guides for Us All. I made it just to make guides on like random video games. So okay, I've got videos okay. on all sorts of games. I was gonna ask like, did you make guides on random tech? Just how you download uh, Windows Seven? <clears throat> just like you know those Indian accents no, are no, heavy and shit. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Could you want like mm-hmm. a uh, subscribe? <laughs> They're so helpful, though. I had to... <laughs> so they are. Just, so you just made guides for like games, other games, right? So what are some of the games you kind of dabbled with? Uh, I used to do a, I used to do a lot of videos on like uh, Fallout Three and New Vegas, Skyrim, stuff like oh, that. Oh, dude, I gotta show you the Skyrim oh, yeah, video. The games. Can I? Mm-hmm. All right, you guys keep talking. One sec, I gotta. I, I was gonna say, um, how many subscribers did you get from that? And like, when was the? What was your base subscriber count when you moved to RuneScape content? Like, was your YouTube already established, or? Oh, yeah, it was. I, I had probably, before I made the, uh, the move to RuneScape, I probably had, like, 60 or 70,000 subscribers. Oh, damn. Wow. Okay. And you moved to RuneScape instead of going to Roblox? <sighs> Brave. I, oh. I messed up. Go That's all. Yeah, so say. what made you, uh, <laughs> you kind of, like, stick to the RuneScape side of things, you know, for a long while now? You know, I've, like, seen you uh, making and evolving your series on RuneScape for... Over like probably two years now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two years. It's uh, it's definitely the addiction to the grind. You know, you can't, you can't leave. But no, for <laughs> real, it's a, uh, it's it's really fun making RuneScape content on old school and RS3. They're both really good games, and I played them since I was a kid. So uh, it's got a little bit of that nostalgia factor to it. And yeah, uh, yeah you, really, you, knew, yeah. you you started for the nostalgia, but then you just came back for actual gameplay. You, st- you stayed exactly. for gameplay, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's awesome. Uh, how many years, my question, like how many years have you been playing uh, old, well, RuneScape in general? Like when did you discover the game? I, I discovered it when I was, uh, I think it was 2006. I was like nine and my buddy just told me, hey, you got to go check this out. I went to RuneScape.com, started playing. Not Miniclip? Huh? No, dude, I never was on <laughs> Miniclip. I, I played on, uh, God, I don't even remember what all the websites were back then, but it was some other crappy game website i played on yeah i kind of miss yeah, the old the runescape browser. browser where you'd accidentally hit enter and oh, your yeah. whole shit's <laughs> fucked yeah, yeah. I miss that. <laughs> Yo, hey when you enter mm-hmm. backspace mm-hmm. it's over okay so <laughs> sorry for interrupting the q a but i got this skyrim all right let's see let's oh, see if it yes. compares to your skyrim videos here okay this is okay let's see all right let's watch this is an old stream can i tame it <laughs> <laughs> look at my ass what dude it's so innocent. Whatever. At least oh, I'm gonna use God, it for now, gonna f- man. What's send it off. You just start running away from send. me. Right, I'm gonna say you don't even know. Die doing this here. <laughs> oh no. Don't give me the horse. Holy shit! <laughs> 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 Holy crap. Not even oh, the best no. part. <laughs> that horse is dead as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you knew there was a dragon there, right? And that's why you. <laughs> <laughs> he survived! What? what happened to the horse? 
<laughs> what do you mean what happened to the horse? This is what happened to horse, dude. I give you a little little instant feedback here. Slow-mo that shit, please. Oh, we can do slow-mo here. Man. Oh. Dude, I saw I, it fling out. I, saw it. I never played Skyrim, but I've seen so many like glitch videos of Skyrim online. It's like all you see. Like yeah. Thomas oh, the yeah. Tank Engine dragons and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yo, but Rice was like, did you do that on purpose? No. <laughs> no. That literally just happened. I did not know he was wow, down there. I thought you, you knew the dragon was there. No, I was just trying to make <laughs> it down fast. I was just... <clears throat> Because I remember in that game, there are sleeping dragons. You can kind of, like, surprise them, you know? Oh, yeah, I surprised the shit out of that dragon. Yeah, you did. You're like, what the fuck? Is there a horse on my back? <laughs> Dude, you know what? Actually, I don't think I ever made any of the Skyrim videos on the channel. Because I used to run this channel when I first started it with my two buddies. So we all made videos for it. I think I only did the Fallout stuff, and they did the Skyrim stuff. So you don't have like a modded oh. let's play that I can watch later? Damn, dude. Oh, no, not now. Sorry. Have you seen Damn, the donkey video on Skyrim, by the way? I don't yeah, think I've seen Yeah, dude, I love donkey, man. He's, oh, like, he's one you of gotta my favorite see content creators. I love him so much. You got to see that. Donkey is great, yeah. Is that a Skyrim? I, do you know <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was actually watching his videos earlier. Like he, um, because he played League of Legends, and mm -hmm. uh, his video where he quit League of Legends got like 11 million. Oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I, w I went back and watched all of his like League of Legends raps and stuff. Oh my god, they're fucking amazing, dude. Like <laughs> his rap, his rapping's like comedic, but mm -hmm. genuinely like funny as hell to listen to, and it sounds quite good. I'm not gonna lie. He made a video on his I main saw... channel about dolphins, and it was just like a. <laughs> it was just a picture zoomed in and he got away with it. He's brilliant. All right, sorry. Back yeah. to the Q&A. Uh -huh. Okay, so are we going to ask more RuneScape related? You guys got all more right, RuneScape right. related? I got this. All right. So, guides, what kind of lotion do you use here? Because you look very nice. What, you moisturize? It's, related. <laughs> it's absolutely RuneScape related. You need to keep on top of your game. If your skin's not soft, it might uh, rub against your mouse and you won't be able to get optimal clicks. Oh, I, hand um, lotion. No, I, just... <laughs> I got that covered. And what's, the brand, what's the brand of your lotion? Uh, I just go to the store and get whatever the most expensive one is. Oh, there I we go. The quality. A man of substance. Oh, I we're promoting a lotion brand today. No. Not yet. Not. I'm trying to get in on that sponsorship money, but they haven't replied yet. Oh. Dude, that's, it's a hard market, huh? Fuck. It is. It is. Dude. You got to be big, dude. You got to mm -hmm. be big. Yeah. All right. So we got no more risky questions then. Well, I um, <clears throat> what level's your main on RuneScape? Do you have a My main on RuneScape? Yeah, I've got a main. On on old school or RS3? Old school, of course. Man. Oh, okay, of course, of course. <laughs> I'm maxed, by the way. Damn. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Legit. Yeah. He's, okay. he's qualified. He's certified. Yeah. He's certified. Mm -hmm. He is certified, man. <laughs> Good stuff. Certified. Mm -hmm. right there. God, I'm never maxing. Fuck that. It's over. Don't do it. It's oh, terrible. God. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> I just think, like, I, I think of runecrafting, and then instantly I think, like, why would I even consider maxing? I, I know that it's like, I know it's like AFK now because you do Bloods and Souls, but oh mm -hmm. my god. Yeah, but I, where's I the video why. content just... for like two months, right? Like, what do you do? Here's yeah, me exactly. mining away. Mm -hmm. That's like so it... true. I mean, it's more than two months, though, right? Like, is how, it really? How much can you max? There's no way. It's like, well, just runecrafting or just in general? Like, like in general, say you've got all of your melee combat stats done. All buyables and skills, obviously, that you have to train yourself. Like, how fast can you do those, minus the combat ones? I mean, if you did get everything besides combat, you could probably max an old school count in like four months, maybe three months. Oh, Fucking man. nerds, dude. That's fast yeah. as fuck. Jeez. You'd have to know life that hard and be fed by your main, though, with cash. Now, how yeah, much could you I, sell I that account for IRL? Worse. Just asking for oh, a friend. <laughs> We gonna hire some people in my basement and start working on this? Dude, I'll, I'll cover I mean, the base cost of laptops and possibly window mouses, you know? Maybe those really shitty okay. ones. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, so you're doing the collection log. How's that? How How is, like, kind of the collection log grind feeling like? You know, is it any similar to any of the other grinds you've done in terms of uh, how bad it is or how slow it is? Honestly, it's so it different. Is. It's so yeah. different than anything I've ever done because it's like... I, you know, I spent, God knows, I spent probably like seven hours killing banshees so that I could get uh, Mystic Gloves drop, you know? 
and I think I picked up like maybe 200k in herbs along that time and I lost like millions of gold in blowpipe charges and stuff and you just do stuff that you would never do for any other reason even on an Iron Man you know you're not sitting there killing yeah, banshees on an Iron Man ever yeah, I don't even do that on an Iron Man bro maybe exactly. if you're settled so and then yeah. if you're settled you might be doing some weird stuff but not like yeah, that you might yeah. just yeah. trap yourself in an, uh, you know, some random mm -hmm. place but yeah, it's fun, and then and there's so much content to do. It's not like you're stuck because you know you can do bossing, clue scrolls. You can go with you know castle wars to try and get the decorated armor. There's just so much to do that it's kind of impossible to get bored. I can switch it up and do some slayer yeah. or whatever. I mean, it's it's essentially like the PVM completionist, right? So in yeah. RuneScape Three, you get the completionist cape, or whatever it's yeah. called. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of like that, except for there's no cape at the end of it. There's so no cape? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. bug, the fuck you know? doing it for? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing it for? There's no stickers, cape, man. Dude. Oh. Well, you get well, a book. You, you open the oh, book dude. and it's killed. What Sorry, man. I, I, didn't mean to, I didn't mean it to take like a bad turn like that. No, no. Yeah, you know, yeah, try yeah. to... They better be adding a cape, dude. Just, you know. They better okay. be well, you know, yeah, Jagan. And it's just lazy, bro. You know, he's just lazy. They've done stuff for content creators. They might add a cape, you know? I can smooth talk them a little bit. Yeah, at least you have a book, bro. Yo, what exactly. about a wearable book? It's just oh, like a team okay. cape trim. Yeah. Jam-packed with sticker pages. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, or Oh, a trim on your max cape if you get a certain yeah. amount of collection uh, slots filled. There you go. Cape with a book icon. Okay, there you go, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. Get it. All right. It's no, not I mean, a bad idea. Yeah. So what is the grind in the completionist that you're, like, dreading about the most? Uh, I know you, know, you want a boss, right? I know you want to do Slayer, but there's some things oh, yeah. in there. There, there are some things you need to do that isn't like any of those. Um, yeah. or some. I guess not your top, whatever. Just give me a few. Yeah, the the ones that are the worst. Uh, there's the um, Dragon Full Helm, which I'm still not sure if I ever want to go for. That take like 200 hours or something. It's from good Mitchell streaming Dragons, content. That's if I go on. Yeah, good there you go. Content. Yeah. So. Uh huh. <clears throat> there's there's like the drops from Scotizo that I'll probably never go for. Like the 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 jar is like one in a thousand oh, or something God. like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy terrible. Fuck. Exactly. It's <laughs> stupid. It's dumb. Oh. It is dumb. It's uh -huh. almost as dumb as the collection log, but it's not. Exactly. It's not, it's not, hey, dude, like, the collection log isn't. <laughs> the collection log isn't inherently dumb. It's just the fact that Racy's there's nothing like, in hey. it. But to be fair, it's gonna take like it take. Any, I, I wonder how far somebody is to like complete it. Like, oh yeah. I'm, Someone's I'm already completed it, right? Have no, you seen these I, nerds? No, no oh, it's completed. Truly Are you kidding? No. no yeah. Have you seen already... the people playing RuneScape? Holy yeah. fuck. That shit was day dumb. Yeah, but it only, it only came out like a year ago. No, but... And it was only yeah. like a year ago everyone got all of the pets, like one or two people in the game. And Dude, that, was, yeah. that was before yeah. it came out, so they have to get them again. And for that year straight, <laughs> those people have been railing Adderall, dude. They probably got it already. Come on. Yeah. Listen, um, man, I've already been willing to place a bet down that no one will ever finish it just because of all the third age. Yep, third age. Like, oh, the time yep. it takes to get one third age piece is you like have to get you know, all the third age? hours. Yeah, yeah, that's all in the collection log. Yeah. Like the sword, the get. cape. Everything. Every single item of third age is in the log. Dude, they better make that's this motherfucker why... CEO RuneScape they do this shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that's that's probably why they haven't given like a reward for it because they're just like, what's the fucking it. point? No one's gonna complete this in our lifetime. Well, you know how like... in our street there's completionist and then there's trend. You just get completionist minus third age. Or they could do it like the uh, you know the tob cape. They could do it if you finish like two hundred items and four hundred items, and yeah, they keep yeah. doing tiers of the log. True. <laughs> True. Yeah. I think eventually they will because you know people are are starting to ride on the idea of the completion. Like, oh, I know yeah. you, and I know um, this other person, Tedious. Tedious, and I think Sears is doing a collection log series, too. Is he? Damn, dude. Yeah. I guess I'll have to make one, too, yeah, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the community. Yeah, so, you know, I would be joining you guys in a year, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, how, how many hours does it take to get the full decorative armor set? Like, yeah, I've done, I've done the set. math. It's If yeah, I, if I just sit in Castle yeah. Wars with my alt, I can get, like, seven tickets an hour. And that's that's pretty much like a hundred and uh, eighteen hours or so, if my math is yeah, right. Not bad. Less no, it's not bad. Grind. Exactly. <laughs> it, yeah, it's actually, fully AFK. Fully. I, I don't know if any of you remember this. This was probably two or three years ago, but there was like a glitch with Castle Wars where mm. there was like CC specifically, and they set games in different worlds. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you could join the CC, and then you'd quickly is. log into the other world. The game would end, and like yep. I, I, I swear it was like a ridiculous amount of tickets per hour. Like, oh, it was, yeah. 
I, I can't they remember how many. I don't even want to guess, but I, I was... did it on my pure, and I've got like seventy tickets, and I probably spent two hours there, or maybe Dang. maybe three. Damn, dude, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, I I heard about it, but I never fucked with it because I was like, I don't care about no offer. Dude, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You guys talking about maybe tickets like they're the golden ticket to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, man? It's oh yeah, dude, they're, they're lucrative. <laughs> Runescape is worse mm -hmm. than heroin. Just just you guys talk yeah. about hundreds of hours for Castle Wars armor. It. I'd rather do heroin. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's gross. I mean, once you're once you're in heroin, you're you can't leave. No, yeah, just but like like ca good. once you're in, in Castle, Castle Wars, Wars <laughs> you can't leave. You can't like, leave. <laughs> back, back when it was like new and like you know way back in the day when Castle Wars was a thing, like I'm sure a lot of people had it. But like now, mm. nobody enjoys the game, so it's just like it's a tedious. Well, yeah, you got like some right. dude ruined skimmy looking. Hey, I'm gonna try my Gmail. Other <laughs> guys like in full ancestral, his whole army like was fuck these guys so hard, you know. And there's yeah, nothing they can be do. Let's be honest, Castle Wars not being popular at the moment is just a representation of the player base in terms of how many are kids and how many are like adults like us. Yeah, because we're dude. smarter now. Cause back in the day, everyone went in there with shit gear, and we were just yeah. going at it. Those are the fun days, dude. And killing people. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I'll, I'll say guy. this. Uh, when I was at Jagex last, so it was like two weeks ago, um, one of the mods said, like, what's an idea that could revamp Castle Wars and, like, get it active again? And uh, oh, I pitched yeah. an idea. I'm sure they won't mind me saying, because I don't think it Full loot happened. PvP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, well, I basically <laughs> said, I think the only way to get Castle Wars exciting and new again to people you guys have seen um oh what's that tv show where they go into the oh god what's it called <laughs> little kids going into like trees and shit and it's like dead things inside come on it's on netflix it's massive stranger things stranger... Oh, yeah, yeah. stranger things yeah yeah, yeah. what so, a do way you know, to like the upside that. down right <laughs> i've never seen it <laughs> <laughs> so, so all right so the upside down if they were to take castle wars and effectively just move it into the wilderness make it into like the ruins like the upside down world is in stranger things and then make it into like a full scale pvp kind of mini game in the wilderness but like it's a wacky idea i'd love to see it but i don't think it ever happened yeah well, imagine, no, that would just be a different actually. version that would just be like <clears throat> yeah. wilderness castle Ward, you know that's just yeah. be, like a new thing i mean they could be like you get i don't know 10 times the amount of tickets but if you die you lose all of your stuff i'd be the just first one that. there See, it wouldn't work at this holes but but i'd be getting yeah. maced for my yeah, shit I, I, the, the thing is i think it's just it's inevitable because we're we're such a uh just an older such an older player base you know yeah like we're not really like asking our kids like kids play you know we're not mm. really like we're like kind of hooking our friends that we already know for a long time like hey Come back, check the game. But we don't like ask our freaking nephew. They want to play Rich. Right. You know, Dude. like you know, like I, I've, <laughs> I've actually to build on top of that idea that I just yeah. had, this is a way they could make it work. They could effectively make it like it, it's like a staking system in the sense of you go into it, uh, but to go in you have to sacrifice castle war tickets you already have from the original castle wars. <laughs> and then if you win, you double your tickets, and if you lose, you lose all of your tickets. Like, if they did something like that, that Damn. would be sick, man. That could actually work. That could be work. fun, actually. I got a controversial idea for Castle Wars. What if you could exchange your tickets in for combat XP, and the combat XP is on par with Nightmare Zone? Holy Just fuck, that'd be... Just get rid of Nightmare oh. Zone and replace it with that. All of yeah. these ideas would make it so that there'd be oh. only this elitist group of sweaty nerds in a basement <laughs> down there just wrecking <laughs> fucking children at this game every day, and there'd be no hope for anyone so else. Fun. Oh my god. That'd be so and they would be well, called really Rot. <laughs> Rot? <laughs> hey, they're out of the world. They're into Castle Wars now. Let's go. It's even worse. Yeah. They're terrorizing people <laughs> inwards while they're dropping people in the fucking castle and shit, I mean, you know? Oh god. I, dude, I, I actually really like that idea, but I worry that it would just turn into like Soul Wars V2. Yeah, school. totally would. Like, I, I don't know what Soul Wars is like in RuneScape 3 now, but back when I played pre OC, it was just like Bot Wars. Everyone there was a bot. So. Yeah. It would be like insanely packed with bots if they did that. They they have F two P Castle Wars though, right? I heard that's pretty. Yeah, active. Yeah, cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. they do. Yeah, and I heard that's pretty uh, actually yeah. active. So hey, yeah, well, maybe okay. and maybe it's just right. OP armor. No one wants to fight that, you know. Once you get over a certain True. set, no one wants to fucking care. But you got people full rune, maple bows, some fires. It's a good time. <laughs> yeah, like think about mm -hmm. it, right? When, when when you're older, you're just not really looking to just have fun. A lot of people aren't like that. You know, they want to Right, get dude. What's with this age shit, bro? I know we're all fuck, man. No, it is. no because it is. It's, we're all dying soon. That's just the truth. 
You know what I mean? Like, the only way to fix Castle Wars is we just need more kids. <laughs> Dude, he's not wrong. When I was a kid, I would do the dumbest shit exactly. in RuneScape just because yeah, it was fun. Yeah, exactly. We didn't right. care about the rewards. That's, that's right. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dumbest shit you've done in RuneScape. Yeah, we'll and not like... Like, just like some dumb shit. Not like something you did stupid, but just some dumb shit you do on the regular, thinking you're playing the game. Uh, <laughs> someone go first here, and then we'll all say it. I know we all have one. All right, okay, I'll tell you a good one, all right? So, long time ago, I was free to play for like an entire year, and um, I, I dabbled in everything I could. So, uh, mining and smithing was a pretty big one for me. I love that shit. But in free to play, it was always so crowded to go, you know, mine anything, like iron ore, mithril ore, whatever. But one day, I discovered that Crandor Island had like three mithril ores on the, at like the bottom oh, floor. Oh no. You know, you know Crandor, right? Crandor <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Far uh -huh. away from everything, right? But <laughs> I was like, yo, this is jackpot. No one's here. This is mine, like literally mine. So I spent like two weeks probably just, you know, mining my myth ore there, hopping worlds, doing the thing. Not a single soul. I had, I, I think I found one other guy, but, you know, mm. never saw him again after that one. But, but I think what I did was I would teleport a fall door afterwards, and then I would walk all the way to the ship and, you know, take the ship to the island again. Oh, for I, fuck's and that sake. process was probably like four or five minutes. It was like five minutes to get there, right? But, oh my god. Was, I How many ore did you have? Like I think it might like a thousand, dude. I think it might like oh a thousand, but it was so long. Oh, <laughs> I did make like 50k off like making uh, the uh, mithril. I don't remember what I was making. It was like some mithril or something. And then like, freaking a RuneScape girlfriend came through, asked me to Ooh. be her boyfriend, and I, I had to give her money for two days. And that was she, me. He me, or he me, and I lost my money. I lost half of it, dude. Oh <laughs> no! You got I, I had to give her money. <laughs> <laughs> Extortion. Like, Can I get money? You know, I was like, okay. Dude, uh, you should have an RS sugar uh, daddy. You yeah, should have dude, taken her. Right. You should have taken her on like your mission to mine this myth for and just. No, like, this I, I is how hard work. Yeah, nobody's like, <laughs> nobody needs to know my spot, you know. Mm -hmm. Dude, talking about yeah, escape girlfriends, shit. man. Uh, one of my viewers. It was like three years ago. He would um he he wanted to date this girl in RuneScape. I don't fucking know why. He's like, hey, dude, you want to come to our <laughs> wedding? And I'm like the fuck are you talking oh about like yeah dude it's in it's in catherine b man i'm like okay i'm just gonna you know i'll be on there for stream that was so long ago i was holding 58 oh. viewers so i'm like this is fucked i don't this is amazing right that was, that was some top-notch shit <laughs> he trades her over a beer ring as a wedding ring and she just out of the server and i'm just sitting there like dude no <laughs> <laughs> were so you guys talking you for like two months like a kid or something <laughs> they were talking for two months in Twitch chat, dude. Oh, wow. what the fuck, dude? <laughs> wow. Oh my god, the long con. That's fucked. <laughs> or a beery. All right, I'll get back to the noob shit. Back to noob shit. Anyone else got some? Yeah. Oh yeah, I uh, on my on my account back in the day when I was a kid playing, I had gotten up to I think it was like ninety four or ninety five wood cutting just Damn. off of magic trees. Ever oh. since I hit seventy five. Because there was this dude who was like rank three or four in the high scores at the time who would buy magic logs for a thousand gold each. And so I was like, oh man, a thousand gold, that's so much. So I chopped magic trees like day in, day out. Bro, but that was the meta back then though. That's I know, how, yeah. That's how we got the D chains, you know? True, true. Yeah. Dude, I missed those fucking I was days, something man. Out of the way, you know? Money is mm -hmm. too easy to make now, mm. dude. Fuck. You just go out and oh you make God. like 10 mil a night, not Wait. even doing anything. Fuck. Mm hmm. I how many hours does it take to get 20,000 magic logs? You oh, get like God. 200, 300 an hour, 200 an hour. Oh, yeah. so people people used to do that for a D chain? Yeah, yeah. No, that's oh, like yeah. Dragon Axe yeah. 90 woodcutting, though. We're talking maybe 100 yeah, yeah. Uh, with like, Rune Axe. Mm -hmm. I, I would call those the, the beta woodcutters because like they had D chain, um, Gnome Scarf, Dragon Legs, Santa Hat. <laughs> yes! Uh, I think Mage's Book. Uh, Infinity Boots. Oh, boost, dude, yeah, I know. Legends Cape yeah. or Fire Cape, right? You, you know, it's just cape, a probably, sweaty dude on the other end. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every mm -hmm. time I, like, walk across the magic trees, there's always one of those guys around. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, man, I wish I was them. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, dude, back in the day, it was the meta. Yeah, they were a thousand yeah. gold each because there was no grand exchange. So dude. there was just, like, a set price for everything. Yeah, dude, D chains with 20 mil a pop, right? Literally so God. freaking hard. You know how many hours of magic trees you got to do for that shit? A lot. <laughs> God damn. It's like, just think about four four hours, maybe you get a mil, five hours. Mm -hmm. Those people who know how to do KQ back so in the day, like though? Hours. Oh, they were yoinking van yeah. right there. Well, dude. Oh, those were the real baddies. You know, they had the fire cave, you know, with mm -hmm. the cracks. You, you well, know you... they were baddies. Oh, dude, yeah. that's not necessarily true, man. 
I remember doing uh, KQ back in the day, like around 80 ish, maybe 90 combat, four yeah. Varax, Rune Gloves, Strength Family. And just like, it would take it would take two of us, me and a random mm-hmm. dude I could find on yeah. the forums. Bearing in mind, firstly, that guy ain't gonna split me that D chain to get D chain. It just wasn't <laughs> like that. Yeah. But it, was the, okay. it was the Wild West back in the day. Like, what oh, are you yeah, gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna <laughs> post on forums, don't KQ with this guy. It just didn't happen. But, yeah, um, yeah. Oh shit, dude! Two whole tellies just to kill KQ. We never got. We never got a D chain. I remember oh, getting. I remember getting the red dragon in my did. body, and I was like yeah. freaking out. Yo, mm. I remember I got a D chain when it was worth about sixteen. That was like a bit after <laughs> God Wars, because like God Wars items crashed the D chain. It was like 20, 20, 22 mm-hmm. for a while, and then the bandos came out of nowhere. But See? luckily, people didn't really understand how much stronger bandos was, so it didn't go. It didn't like fucking plummet the D chain like instantly. Yeah. But... Mm-hmm. See, yeah, this is fuck. Like, every time we talk like, about old RuneScape memories, you just gotta talk about Bandos and KQ. And I'm over here about to share my yeah, new yeah. moment where I'm in the Barbarian yeah, go ahead. Stronghold and I'd, I'd pick up the meat to eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what I did. That was my. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that was like my regular training method, that. dude. No, no, no. You were at Bandos, fucker. I never even hit up any <laughs> bosses, I, dude. I, I told you my story about my name, Myth Wars at Crandor. Yo, How you know my bossing? Bro, my bossing, know. dude, was <laughs> yeah. fucking Barbarian Stronghold flesh crawlers for a month straight to buy my same, first whip. Same. And then I got fucking mm-hmm. hacked, okay? Y'all made it oh. far, dude. Y'all made it far, man. Fuck. <laughs> Never got to live those I days. I made it far just to lose it all, bro. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, like my senpai, bro, like the guy that taught me how to God Wars, bro, he hacked me in one, one day, dude. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Hell, man. My senpai. <laughs> well, okay. That man uh, gave you knowledge just to yoink a bigger bank. How's that make you feel? Oh, suck, dude. You know, like free trade didn't exist and he wanted to sell his party hat, but nobody was buying it at the time. So he went on my mm-hmm. account, trade all my shit. You know, oh next day God. I wake up, I have a purple party hat and no armor. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> I was like, purple party hat? There's only one person on my friends list I know that has that. I was like, oh, close. no. Yeah, yeah, but I, could, I didn't see him after a while. Did you keep hold of it? If you kept hold of it, that would have been worth a fortune, man. Dude, I, got, my man, I was, it for like I was five broke. Years. Yeah, I was broke for like entire, like I, for half a year. I just didn't know what to do because I couldn't do anything. I had no money. And I, I couldn't flaxes, sell the purple dude. party hat. Yeah, no, it was so bad, dude. Purple party hats, you couldn't even sell for 200 mil back then for some reason. Yeah, with the free trade thing, it, it messed yeah, up the economy. Really dude, that. Yeah, I, I remember when BH Creators came out and free trade went, I swear that purple was under 100 mil at one point. Yeah, yeah. It, it probably was, so was yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to end up selling it for 100 mil in like, <sighs> in like 100 mil worth of, you know, uh, fodder stuff. Mm-hmm. Like junk, like Adam and Arrow's P++. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, <laughs> I so. to do it because... <laughs> I mean, what was I gonna? I had no money. Like, I, I literally only had a whip or something. It took me a look forever to get my. It See, was so hard. It was so hard to get back. It, I, I remember in mm-hmm. high school, I used to hang out with these guys who were like almost you, right? Way better at RuneScape than me. I'm over here in that barbarian. There, this guy's like, yeah, dude, I had a purple party hat. Next day, he sold it. And then that was back when it was under 100 mil. And then <laughs> next year, he's so salty. <laughs> It's so yeah, salty. No, I'm kind of salty because purple party has <laughs> like max cash and over. Mm-hmm. You know? uh, right, dude. Yeah. I I've got a yeah. uh, a very newbie story. I don't think I've ever shared it. Like from way back in the day. So this was one of my um my friends at school's brothers RuneScape account that he played for years, and he just gave the account to us. And um, oh. we we didn't we were so newbie at the time we didn't know what items were what items. Like we were like fresh to fresh to members. But his brother said that there was a whip on the account. And at the time, I knew that there were two kinds of whips, right? There was the whip, which is an abyssal whip. Didn't know the name of it, the sausage whip. And there was also like a whip that you got from a quest that was untradeable. Oh, yeah, mouse whip. And yeah. I remember, we, I remember we, logged, we logged into the account and he traded. I was like, click the whip. If it comes into the trade screen, it's the expensive one. We've just become like millionaires in this game. And it just popped up. And I was like, oh, my fucking God, whip. <laughs> Oh my god! And I'm like, obviously, I got the whip, and um, we traded everything off the account. But there were these black robes that we couldn't trade for some reason, and so we just assumed they were like untradeable. We we're like, fuck it, let's go PK on the account. It was quite a high level. It was like level 100, and that to oh, us was like yikes. a god. Mm-hmm. We went to Varrock Multi. <clears throat> oh, it turns out god. we went to Varrock Multi in oh. four hour rims with a DDS, and like, 
some one <laughs> items just killed us for that back in the day. I, I don't even know how much that was worth, but oh, so, dude, damn. somebody had a field day, man. Seriously, <laughs> that guy is probably like, I don't know what I got, but. <laughs> he was yeah, revving the durial yeah. setup right there, man. Yeah. Oh. Holy crap. Yeah. Dude, I got Give a little story news. about yeah. how uh, me and my friend hacked an account back in the day. Whoa! Hey, hey. Whoa! I don't know if I've ever told this. Unsubscribe! Oh, no. Oh, no. Listen, listen, I was like nine years old, okay? You can't hold this right. It better not me. be my so account, though. I got hacked yeah. like seven times. You were of age. Nine, uh, no, nine. no, 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 no. Listen, listen. It was me, me and my friend Tyler, all right? Okay, so we, we played, and his older sister also played, and she was way better than us. She had, like, was she combat stats up in the 70s or 80s. Oh, oh my yeah. lord. Oh, but yeah. I was, like, nine, so I had there we go. interest in music. You hit that shit? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think there are some laws really? against that, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we, we wanted to get on her RuneScape account. We'd, like, sit on the couch and watch her play RuneScape. You know, she'd have her dragon longsword or whatever, oh, yeah. going and killing stuff. We'd be like, oh, my God. And so, <laughs> one day, we sneak into her room. And we take her diary and we're like going through her diary pages and we find this page with this with this bit scribbled out. We hold a lamp up to it. We could see the little pen marks of what the word was. And then we it was her RuneScape password. And so we log into her account. And so we go to her bank and we were gonna steal all our stuff. We we felt too bad. We were afraid she was gonna get pissed off at us. So Aww. <laughs> Aww. No, that's how that's wholesome. You're in here. That's yeah, how you know you're inherently good because you tried mm -hmm. and then you gave up. After, I couldn't do it. Even though you could. Oh, that's some wholesome totally shit right there, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, couldn't follow through. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> dude, that's you, like when you think about like RuneScape. Do you think that I like? Because I remember back when I was younger, I was the same. I remember like the first time I got hacked. So I was like, how could somebody do such a horrible thing to another person? Like mm -hmm. I was so so naive and just like. I, I don't know. I, I just never thought there'd be people that would do that. It was like heartbreaking to get yeah. hacked for the first time. Like, do you think that where we're just so used to that at this point and everyone's hacking everybody and there's hackers everywhere, it's like we're, we're just not affected by it anymore. It's just like, yeah, that's just RuneScape. Like, it's part of the experience. You'll it, get there. It's a sad Bro. thing to think about, but yeah. 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 It could just be that the internet has become so much more <clears throat> like anonymous and such that people don't really feel bad at all when they do it because yeah. it's just hey. it's just some other guy online. It's not which real bring, life. Which brings us to a good segue into account security. security Whoa. Whoa. Dude. Bada nice. bing, bada boom. That was clean, bro. That was clean. That was. That was nice. <laughs> is it I was the? For that is, did this just come out? What, what day is it today? Yeah, it just came out. Oh, yeah, this is today. It's the 25th. Yo, subscribe, uh, boys. Some... Recent updates on yeah. the podcast. Hit the like button. Yeah. Thousand likes. All right, yeah, easy. Uh, Y'all want to know about some Twitter drama, right? So, you know, the RuneScape Twitter, we call it RuneScape Twitter. It's a pretty big, big community over there. But um, all the, like, more high-profile Twitter boys for the RuneScape, they've been, you know, roasting the hell out of Jagex. Are we talking like, about hey, those guys don't, with... Don't, uh, don't forget to say grills, man, because there was a grill. I yeah, there was, was the post that I saw. Okay, continue. Yeah, but there was grills and guys grilling on Jagex five dollars security, right? You know, there's that. There's even one guy. He's like the leader of Oblivion. His name was, uh, I think it was uh, Ross or Classics. Is but Oblivion like, he, a big thing, by he, the way? I see them all the time. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a big clan. It's a big clan. They, okay. They're, they're pretty relevant on. Twitter, I'm not much but, in the clan uh, series. Leader, yeah, the the leader real world traded because you know it in. Um, in reaction to the whole account security shit, he's he's basically he's basically saying account security show shit. I might as well retrieve my shit because it's gonna get hacked anyway. That's mm. what that's what he ended. Up. I mean, he got banned for it, obviously. What a dumbass. He, he made it. Yeah. But it's <laughs> Who like, would say it? You know, that, right? A lot of people. Yeah. I mean, they were making a point though, and and he's kind of right. I mean, in a way, and a lot of people, man, like this past month, like three of my friends got hacked, dude. Fucking sucks, dude. Dang. Yeah, pretty <clears> close <throat> friends, you know. Mm -hmm. Dude, I, I'll tell you, I, I'll tell you a funny story that happened two fucking weeks ago. Oh my god, I don't know what's going on. I, I think I genuinely had like a fucking stroke. Like I'm not even joking. My brain I'm liking it so much, far. Right. Oh, <laughs> so I, I'm okay. sat here. I'm logged into story my fat time racy. I'm logged into Fat Checks, which is the account I'm doing my series on right now. Log mm. into it every day, multiple times a day. Have done for the last few months, right? And I'm sat here, I log out for 20 minutes, come back to the computer, log in, and I'm just like, incorrect password? I was like, what? <laughs> so I, I go to my Gmail, and I'm like, it's not hooked up to a Gmail. I was like, what the fuck's going on? Found my Gmail, couldn't get into it. There's like some Nigerian <sighs> phone number that's linked to the Gmail, and I'm freaking out. I'm just like, oh my God. I'm like, 
if I've just been hacked, I was like, I literally don't give a fuck about the 100 mil on the account. It's just like having to explain it and go through the process to your subscribers yeah, and all that yeah. shit. It's a nightmare. So I mm. tweeted out. I, I tweeted on Twitter. I was just like, <laughs> any J mods, please get a hold of me ASAP. And I got in touch with Mod Weef and I was talking to Mod Weef. And uh, he said, well, it's really weird because your account's not been logged into. Nobody's changed the <laughs> password. It's exactly the same. And I was sat there for like an hour trying to figure it out. And in the end, I came to the conclusion that for the first time in three months, for whatever reason, I just typed in the wrong email. Like, I, it was just like, I've been typing the same email, which nobody knows. I'm not going to say it every single day. And I just had like a, an hour moment where I completely forgot my fucking email. I was like looking in my black book with all my passwords. I was like checking all over my computer for what it was. And I was having a complete meltdown. And in the end, I said to uh, Mod Weef, I was just like, I'm literally a goon. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. I'm like, I'm fucking retarded. And this was like five days before going to the, um, the Dead My Mind, Dead My Mood casting thing that I did. So it was like a terrible impression, man. Uh -huh. Absolutely I'm, fucking retarded. I'm more impressed seriously. you were able to get into a DM with a J mod in that, that fucking fast, dude. Oh my <laughs> lord. Mm -hmm. Dude, like the first thing I said, I was just like, lock the account because like I, I knew i was going up there in like a few days so i was like worst case scenario i can just be there and hopefully be able to like barter my way back to my account but yeah dude i was mm -hmm. just having a real blonde moment i don't know what <laughs> happens honestly man i was and i do you know when you get so stressed out i don't know about you guys but when i get stressed out i stop thinking rationally and my god, I was I was just like my brain was mush, man. When I get stressed, I yeah, shit a lot. Feel hard to, does it feel hard to breathe? Do you get those panic moments? Oh dude, I was I was going mad, dude. Yeah. I, I'm just glad that I don't have anything valuable. Does your does your <laughs> accent get thicker? Does it get thicker, your accent there? When you get mad? Just uh, start screaming. Oh, all right. It does. Like it the does ventilation it. is like yeah, that's definitely a thing, man. When I get mad, people say they can hear my southern accent. Yeah, but, yo, hit it up. Let's see it. Dude, I'm, I'm for real. I'm from Texas. I'm y'all. Hit it up, dude. Let's hear I it. Y'all all the time, right? You can't hate on boy. The you don't it's sound Texan, thing, you know? man. Oh my uh, god. Like you gotta, you gotta piss me off real quick, man. All right. All right. <laughs> you look like uh, uh, like... Kefori. What's that guy's YouTuber, dude? Shit, Kefril Kefori. It's a. Racy probably knows. He's a no. League of Legends guy. No, guy looks like Ninja. Kefori. I, I do look well, yeah. He's got like dying Dude, they're only League of Legends players. The yeah. only League of Legends players I watch, I'm a cutie pie and Trick 2G. That's literally it. Damn, dude. I look more like I'm a cutie pie. Do you guys, do you guys follow them? Yeah. You do. I'm a cutie. <laughs> yeah. Because of the beard and shit. And the white shirts mm -hmm. and shit. No, not the cutie, but the beard, you know? Back when I had the brown hair, everyone said I looked like Mew Silk. You guys ever seen him? Sounds like a really yeah. bad vitamin Some supplement. Australian <laughs> You know? Yeah, this is some Australian. Uh, Eat your you know, mucil so for calcium. All right, you want me to read some of this <laughs> stuff up here? I yeah, got yeah, you. Yeah. All right, player yeah. support account security blog, July. Fuck, I fucked it up already. June 25th, 2019. <laughs> Bruh, that would have been on my birthday, dude. So we're working on strengthening oh. passwords. How the fuck are you working on that? The hell? And breached password usage warnings. Okie dokie. Coming soon, email notifications and valid validations for account behavior changes. Authenticator checks on the website. Isn't that something oh we really want? God. Right? People yeah. are complaining yeah. about... I think that's like the biggest mm -hmm. thing. You have an authenticator, they turn it off. doesn't matter. Hey, right. can you, yeah, can you if... emphasize the next line you're going to read, please? Okay. Investigating if we should implement an authenticator delay! Was that good? Yeah. Yeah, All right. Beautiful. All right. Well, I tried. There we go. Thinking about it. I love how about it. coming soon. Thinking about it. Eh, 2020. Uh, 2021. Uh, <laughs> RuneScape 3. You know, what the fuck? Winter All right. Yeah, they, they, whatever. Like, their, their website team is beyond slow. Goddamn. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of people are getting hacked. Should we do something about it? Uh, how about raising membership prices? No, I don't think that's cutting it. No, no. Okay. Uh, in order to add authenticator delay, we'll add an extra dollar to your monthly membership. <laughs> <laughs> just put your hand on my paypal if i can have my account secure fuck it oh i know right and then in the future they want to add uh, additional account security systems and account recovery security so pretty much eh, very vague right very vague they're just like yeah. please shut the fuck up about being hacked <laughs> we don't care here it is is what i'm seeing here but whatever 
I, I feel bad for those boys who get hacked, man. To Nothing be fair, though, if they put the authenticator check on the website, that would stop most hacks. I yeah, hope. Because, mm -hmm. well, I will stop a good amount, yeah. Well, not, yeah, maybe not most, but... I told you guys about my sweet not. idea, right? Instead of a bank pin, you no. get, like, a, a key for your bank, like, dead man key, mode, whatever. and then you hide it and you bury it. And then when the guy logs on your account, he's got to bury, you've got to find that shit, right? Uh, that's a really good idea. I like that. Dude. And you know, get a little like, map, yeah, right? Yeah. You get to make your own map to see where it is. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, Actually, to be, yeah. To be fair, I, there's a thing in RS3 where you have to put your bank pin in to drop any items or to trade anybody. <clears throat> You yeah. can, I think you can, I think you can set that up actually. Yeah, that would stop the hackers that hack That would stop a good right. amount. I mean, there mm -hmm. are, there are evidence that some hackers are able to bypass your pin, mm -hmm. but yeah. it's not easy though. It's not, think about it this way. Most people that, that like get their shit cleaned, they didn't have bank pin mm -hmm. or, or they, sh they gave away their bank pin somehow, you know? Like, yeah. Or they had all their gear on them or whatever. Yeah. 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 Like a lot mm -hmm. of hacks actually can't get through your, a lot of hackers can't get through your bank pin. Yep. But there are some instances where, you know, a few times out of, you know, like out of all the people that have told me they got hacked, mm -hmm. most of them get hacked because they they didn't do bank pin. And then most of them got hacked, but I mean, a lot of them that got hacked couldn't, didn't lose most of their shit because they had a bank, you know? Yeah. So it just sucks that you play yeah, a video definitely. game and you need so much security for it, you know? You don't uh, log into yeah. like, uh, it's, like a, it's like a house dog. It's a it's mm -hmm. a house that's easy let that the door is always fucking open. That's the do you problem. know do you know what I think it is? I, I think the main thing is like there's such an issue with it in old school because old school RuneScape is like it, it's based on a very old game and the currency has value. Like let's not forget, if the currency wasn't worth real life money. They would do this it. literally, this wouldn't happen, or not as yeah, much. Like yeah. it, it would it be really dramatically be less. Like with games like World of Warcraft and whatnot, like you know, they have different game engines and whatnot. Like they have all the security things there, ready to go. I, I'm pretty sure when it comes to old school, it's like they have to do a lot of engine work for that stuff to work. And I don't on top care, of that, honestly, if it does, has a lot of <clears> engine work or not, they need to work no, on that shit. <laughs> yeah. Even though I, I'm, not, I'm not defending it yeah, from that yeah, point, yeah. I'm right. just, I'm just saying, like. Yeah. It the does take challenges. time for them to actually do this stuff. Yeah, like, sure. I mean, but let's know. be real, bro. They had years and years to, uh, you know, strengthen their shit. But mm -hmm. it really takes... That's the thing. I feel like this is a great move by the players, especially on Twitter and uh, on, you know, even Reddit, you know, as much as... Uh, even if you hate those websites, they're actually, like, starting a, a conversation, you know, like a really meaningful conversation. I mean, we've been getting hacked forever, but we never yeah, really right. made a fuss like that, right? People are just mm -hmm. kind of like... Yeah, whatever. I'll just quit, you know. Like, but but now we're like, you know what? I don't want to just quit. You know, I can. I feel like we can do something about it. And, yeah. Well, no. Did you see that Modash's wife got hacked on RS3? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's all like, that was so fucked up. Modash yeah, is like old oh. accounts. Yeah, old accounts mm -hmm. are much more susceptible to getting hacked because you yeah, have that's, mm -hmm. a lot more recovery information that could be spread across a different, you know, a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like there just needs to be, I don't know, I, I think there needs to be way more information out there on how to secure your shit. Like, yeah, that's yeah. definitely something Jagex, like Jagex should put in like a foolproof plan they, of they how you can 100% secure your account. And I'm talking like external stuff, whether it be like a throwaway email account. You need like a like Bitcoin that. wallet. It, and... You know. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, the authenticated delay would be a good one. I also proposed mm -hmm. this idea that we could uh, be able to lock certain items for a set amount of time if we wish to. Optional, yeah, completely be cool. optional. Because mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd be very excited for that. Although, there will definitely be some technical challenges. And honestly, if they want to do it or not, it's up to them. But the, I feel like authenticated delay at a bare minimum mm -hmm. is needed. Um, yeah, <clears throat> for sure. I mean, it's like one of those things, like Mint, the idea you just suggested about like digging somewhere to find your bank, right? Yeah. I love that idea. There's a loophole. But yeah. there's a it, not even a loophole, there's a huge issue with it. And that issue is you forget all the idiots are gonna forget where it is. And then yeah. there's like a million requests to Jagex, like, hey, can yeah. you help me find my bag? That's where you put like, a paywall. Unrealistic. That's where you put yeah. a paywall, right? So... It's like, oh, if you forgot your key, <laughs> donate twenty dollars and in the next ten days you get your shit back. Boom, baby, we got better Beautiful. servers. We got it's crowdfunded, <laughs> man. Venezuelans so are what, gone, it's a I good think day. That's one of, <laughs> I think that's one of like their reasons why they don't want to do authenticated delays because they, you know, people might try to recover because they forget their password, but then they have an oh, authenticated yeah. delay, and then they might, you know, uh, bug Jagex about it. Absolutely, but and I'm gonna say really... something. I'm gonna say something a little controversial yeah, here. Go ahead, go ahead. 
Uh, for people who get hacked and have their emails hacked, Authenticator Delay is not going to fix anything because their account is always going to be unsecure if someone has access to their email. Yeah, it's only temporarily holding the hackers mm -hmm. That's why you get Authenticator I mean, on your email. Definitely... And then another email yeah. on that email that has also an Authenticator. Yeah, exactly. And by that time, you're like, what the fuck am mm -hmm. I doing? I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Like, <laughs> God damn, I got like four emails. I'm playing a 15-year-old medieval children's clickers game. I got more security I, on I this. I feel like, like there's right? more benefits to having the delay than to not. Because oh, think about it this way, right? Authenticator is optional still, right? It's not mandatory. So for those people that are like lazy and they might forget their passwords and stuff, they most of the time won't have to worry about it because they don't have Authenticator to begin with, right? They're, they're the ones that are just going to get hacked straight off the bat, right? Those are, they get hit off first. And then people with Authenticator, the, the, the way it currently is, they get hit off kind of like second because the hackers have to spend time to look for recovery email information mm -hmm. and get through your email, right? And then brute force that shit. So it takes a while. So, I mean, it's just the Someone people that knows a little too much over here, man. Got the brute force well, and all the terminology. We, we I'm scared, dude. Yeah. yeah, we had to investigate because when my friend got hacked, he had authenticated and all that stuff, right? But mm -hmm. but the way they they got through his authenticator is that they got through his PayPal email uh, because mm -hmm. he streams, right? He, mm -hmm. Somehow the PayPal email was connected to his uh, RuneScape email because it was like a recovery email, right? He didn't yeah. have authenticator on email? Um, no, he didn't know that the PayPal email was connected to his... Yeah, you can forget about that. Account. He didn't know. Like, it, it was just kind of, like, left in the dark, and he kind of just forgot about it, right? Damn, dude. Yeah. So so what? So it came to a surprise, because it's like, what happened? How? I have Authenticator. But yeah, he was he was able to bypass it. Well, you know what you can do? Anyone who's watching this, if you go to the website, I think it's called Have I Been Pwned? You yeah, can see if website. your email has ever been involved in a data leak. And if it has been, just go change your password and put two-factor authenticator on the email, and you're pretty much safe. Yeah, no, but uh, make you a know, new email, though. Or make a new email. Good. That's yeah. even better. Yeah, make yeah. a but fresh new email. Don't connect that shit anymore. Your, your YouTube's mm -hmm. like guides. Like, 100%, you should make a YouTube video how to secure your Instagram Honestly, Rakes, that's not a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, do yeah. that. Like, oh, I, feed I, the Ozars podcast. There we go, dude. Like, yeah, I, like you never know. I, I think it's like it will either do insanely well or it won't do it that will, well, it will, but it'll it help will. a lot of people. I it. You yeah, it'll so, help people either like, way. Like the title will be How to 99.9% uh, .9 secure your account. <laughs> yeah, that's a good how way to secure it, yeah. your And then your description, you'll have a link, and that'll be a phishing link, and you'll just get everybody <laughs> without a secure account. <laughs> and it'll be the best. <laughs> Oh, Yo, there man, we go. Shut up, don't tell him that's genius. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, imagine that'd be fucked. That's genius. Uh huh. That's good. Uh, that scare delays be a nice one. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, their whole investigating kind of. Uh, I mean, it, it's. I don't understand what's so hard about it. I think. Right. There might be some sort of financial cost to it that it, maybe it's so great that they can't you know put in the money for it or something i don't know dude if they I mean, secure our accounts and jmods can't hack our accounts without blaming someone else dude you know you gotta <laughs> uh, use your name uh, dude jed's gonna yeah. be homeless come on have a heart <laughs> yeah no, it's just silly though they just need to, to support it. the it troops like, yeah i mean if, if you have an excuse like financial excuse like mm -hmm. tell it to us straight at least you know i think they're worried about people quitting the game if they can't get back into their account easily look at all the updates they've been proposing recently well, like listen, make the see, beginning of the game well, easier. We, we already made the point that authenticator is optional anyway right so, no you're yeah. right so it's it's only for people to actually give a shit about their accounts. Dude, how That's many true. people have already those, quit RuneScape from being are... hacked though? For real, like probably we'd yeah. have like 500k mm -hmm. players I mean, not, right now. It's just gonna stop future people from you know getting their asses cugged. Yeah. So so for example, think about it this way, right? Once authenticator delay gets into the game, here's here's what happens: people that don't have authenticator in the first place, it's always gonna be the same for them. They get hacked, true. and that's it. And then people that already have authenticator. They also get the delay option. If they do get hacked, they can actually do something about it this time. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and that's it. That's about it. And then there might be like a 0.01% where, you know, your brain let you have authenticator, but you you don't remember your password for some reason. Mm -hmm. You know, that, there's like a very minor, you know, issue. I feel like that's, I feel like the hacking is far greater than, than that 0.01% of people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's some bullshit statistic. You get my, you get the idea. That, you know, yeah. Very minor mm -hmm. people that you're right. Their password. And please just save it somewhere on your notepad or something, you know, like if if anything, just just write somewhere physical. Yeah. Honestly, keep track of your account information, guys. Like RuneScape's the one account, but you have a billion other accounts online. 
why don't you keep track of those right all nice in one good place somewhere right? i'm looking i'm looking over this oh, blog yeah. and it's it's kind of ass by the way no one noticed i made this man's yeah. face humongous here um it's literally yeah no you guys just liked it didn't you okay it's like their first thing <laughs> is just better passwords <laughs> like <laughs> yo you know what we're gonna do Better passwords, no. motherfucker. Boom. Stonks. Dude, I, I, fucking, I know. fucking Christ. I wonder how many people have like the password QWERTY123. Oh, do, yeah. Do you guys know no. I, when I say that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that like yeah. slang? Yeah, what they mean, yeah. But uh, what they mean by better passwords is that in, uh, because currently when you make RuneScape passwords, it's all lowercase. Yep. And you can't do like extra symbols and shit. Dude, no one wants uppercase you know? passwords. Fuck that. It's not going to stop hackers. I know, but it makes it harder. <laughs> oh, no, shit. The cap harder. lock button is frozen. We're fucked. We can't get in. You know, no one's not. <laughs> I mean, but it, it's it's man it's kind of mandatory. It's the standard nowadays. Every freaking mm -hmm. other uh, website will, you know, allow you to make passwords that are more complicated, right? Yeah. Caps, symbols. Like, we don't even have that, bro. You know, Hackers going to be like, like, we tried the password, we can't get in. Have you tried uppercasing the first letter? Oh, shit, we're in. You know, and then boom. Yeah, because no, everyone I mean, does that. You can uppercase any letter, though. That's the thing. You can uppercase the middle somewhere yeah. in the yeah. end, right? And yeah. also being able to put, like, hash in the star sign or whatever. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. huge, bro. Because, like, it, are, it stops huge. a lot of brute forcing and shit, you know? Yeah. Well, the thing is, yeah, so, that website yeah. I was saying where you can check if your email has been in a data breach, you can check passwords on there, too. Yeah. So you could find some, you find the most common passwords and just try those out. And they say fifty percent of players don't even have Authenticator. All you need is the password. You don't even need anything. Yeah, yeah it shows it right here. I think. Them. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's huge, bro. We like they need to up their shit with that stuff. That's like common mm -hmm. sense stuff. Put that on. Yeah. There, you know? So this is Come less of a here. blog and more of a hey, get Authenticator. Here's... Pretty much. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so. I mean, and also have a, you know, like they they are telling you that. They want to make it better, which is good. Honestly, you just gotta stay start. on their ass. Stay I guess it's ass. good. Yeah, stay on their ass, guys. Yeah. I guess it's good in RuneScape standards, start. but any other company puts out a blog yeah, like, exactly. you know what? We're working on it. It's only been a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, sure. Not really any base info, but we'll I'm work on saying, it. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, relative to what they've done. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. much, right? Like this is yeah. a decent start. <laughs> Imagine we had a uh, Madi and on right now. We're just roasting the recovery system with them. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't even play the game. I just make the music, you know. Uh, yeah, because no, for real. Yeah, the, the account security system really is back in so 2007. Bad. I mean, it really is. Yeah, it's so bad. Mm-hmm. I well, mean, it, it? it would stop 2007 hackers, but this is 2019, baby. Exactly. What does it say about recovery abuse? That's uh, a really interesting I think it's right down here. I could read it, but I, I think it's shit. Uh, one of the biggest challenges we face while, when reviewing account recovery attempts is identifying if the request has been submitted by the account owner. So people will you know, submit a recovery yeah. for an account that's not theirs, and they'll they get in. Our focus for the next year is stopping the hijackers before they even get to an account. But regardless, we need to improve how we process account recovery attempts. That may mean the appeal information requirements become stricter. It's going to take some time to find the right balance between safety and swiftly getting players back into the game. At the moment, we don't feel it's quite right, so we will continue on this. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah we're working going. on it. Just keep going. So yeah, the, just keep yeah. going. <clears throat> well, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, on World of Warcraft, when you want to recover your account, if it's a higher profile account or whatever, you have to send Blizzard a picture of your driver's license. Dude, I was just about to, to say that. Yeah. Yeah. I was literally just about to say that. Mm. Dude, I can only I mean, imagine like, though. Secure. Everybody getting their shit leaked when like someone sends a fake email. <laughs> your account's been uh, identified. Uh -huh. Can we get your driver's license? Jagex team signed <laughs> Jed. You know, yeah. and then boom, everything's mm -hmm. gone. It's over. Signed Jed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sincerely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the thing you gotta understand is like, just never trust any emails you get. Basically. In 2019, just assume everything is fake. I, show, so I showed yeah. you guys Dude, that. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, I got to just. <laughs> I was sent this uh, no, go for it, man. email, and it was from the YouTube staff team, right? It had a little YouTube icon, <laughs> and it says, We have seen some weird things going on in your account. We will need to uh, recover your account for whatever. And it goes, Please enter your. And it says, like, Username, password, date of birth, name, sincerely, YouTube. I'm like, Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was the shittiest attempt. Oh, all right, Rick, what you say? Mother's maiden name, social security number. <laughs> so good. Yo, so there's this other big piece here. They're doing additional security and account takeover. So they're, in, they're oh. talking about implementing a new system that's going to check 
like continuously 24 7 uh, all the people logging in and stuff oh that's kind of nice. okay hmm but they said there's some you know there's some like uh and we're working on it backs, obviously. <laughs> yeah they said 2020 estimated uh that's that's interesting i've never heard this is anything like only that. setting up for more people to get a hacked now because hackers are like all right we gotta hack as many people as we can before this fucking update hits so no one's gonna have an account <laughs> by 2020 apparently we're fucked yeah they're but they're blocked. saying it's gonna yeah. it says it'll take a long time which okay i understand if it's a new system but please just ad- authenticate a delay and uh pass you know st- stronger password ability mm-hmm. um those two would be great and then you can work on these other two on your spare time dog because uh get those two in there and it would definitely stop a good amount of the hacks oh yeah at, at least for the diehard players <clears throat> right right and it's just like, like pulled over until they get the better stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because like, I mean, you know, we just gotta say it straight. I mean, every everybody matters in the grand scheme, but but Except for, there uh, are the people bots. that that will, you know, they'll just play for a week or a day. They might get hacks, right? But they weren't even gonna play that much anyways, because you know those guys are kind of like flaky anyways. But like, you lose a, a loyal customer that's been playing for years because of a stupid account security flaw, like you know whatever they got right now that that's hard that's that that hits hard yeah those guys they're the people that's been you know supporting your ass forever yeah and you, if you make them quit because you can't keep your security straight that's just a smack to the face you know of your lower customer yeah. you put a hundred losing potential yeah oh yeah oh sorry i was just saying you put a couple hundred hours no, into your runescape account and then you go into try to get it back and you don't get jack shit you hit up twitter and then you got this thing called like account <laughs> was it jagex um help system or whatever Helpers. on twitter yeah, and it's just like uh-huh. have you tried submitting a, an, an appeal and no one gets back to you <laughs> and then you have to <laughs> fucking at mod ash and my ash is like for fuck's sake does no one else fucking help these people <laughs> yeah. and then my weeps like maybe you just suck at pk and we're just like what the fuck dude <laughs> <laughs> There was this great parody account of that guy that was responding to every, like, tweet about account security with things like, maybe your password should have been better nerd and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I wish someone made another one of those. Holy so good. fuck, that's amazing. It was probably the hacker, yeah. too. I mean, that's the best part. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but, yeah, and then people hear about the bad security. They're not going to want to sign up and play this game, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, the biggest thing is, like, the loyal players, you know, definitely like, i'm biased though because I, i'm a loyal player right? i've been playing forever but mm-hmm. but it fucking sucks you know i feel like oh, yeah. it, you, they deserve something right for playing this yeah they get game. rice's account right, they can put much. a down payment on a house dude fucking <laughs> Yo, <Cho-Cho. laughs> Yo. all right all right let's let's uh, switch subjects here a little bit let's spice it up <laughs> all right, yeah. all yeah, right. so content. has Not anyone been trying out the new wilderness <laughs> updates that have came to the game oh yes yep yeah, yeah, just you, man. Go for it. Yeah, no, just hey, guys have been slapping some ass too. Apparently, I ju- hey, I dropped a video on it. There we oh, go, dude. Oh, okay. That's yep. what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. We'll talk about it, then. There we go. I'll be listening. All right, so pretty much they added a Slayer key that you can get from Wilderness Slayer, and you can PK it off people, and that is the best part. The- it's not like an insane key though. I wish it was more because these keys are rare mm-hmm. to get and even rarer to PK. So I kind of wish, you know, you get a shit ton from it or a unique drop, but still. I get to take people out for something other than just their items, and it's amazing. Yeah. And there's two chests. There's one, uh, I believe, right next to the Chaos Altar and Multi. You see it right here. It's a low-level loot, except it's more dangerous. It's in Multi. There's no escapes. Your TV, you're fucked, right? And then they got the one Deep Wildy. has about 10 escapes, a fucking <laughs> one-by-one square on the upper side, and it has much better loot. Which one are you going to go mm-hmm. to? Fucking Christ! Um, and then this. Wait, wait. Can can you sell these keys in the GE? No, you no. can't trade them. You can only PK them. Oh, so if you okay. if you want to sell them, you basically just have to get someone to kill you. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's interesting. I I don't know if that's mm-hmm. a good or a bad thing. Oh, well, I don't you can you can kind of sell them then. Yeah, it, it's it's mostly for people like men going and PKing them though. Yeah. Uh huh. So many. But to be honest, for yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was just say so, oh, dude. I killed maybe like 250 PVMers the last three days, and they are mm-hmm. the saltiest, saltiest people I've yeah. ever killed. Oh, they do not want to yeah, die. Uh huh. No, and I could talk from the PVM perspective because I tried doing some wildy slayer for these keys. I can tell you that I, I'm sure that you don't see them a lot of the time when you kill someone, right? Like what? most people, you kill them. Oh, drop the, them, the keys. The no. key. Very yeah. rare. Very yeah. rare. I can tell you why. Yeah, they're insanely rare to get from the Wildy Slayer. Like they said, they're like brimstone keys, 
But like when you do a Konar task, you get like one or two, maybe even three a task. I did like 25 Slayer tasks and got five, I think. Really? So one in nice. five tasks. I wow. Yeah, that's so, and then so the odds of the PK are finding the person that's on that task getting the key and then killing them for the key. It's, I mean, it doesn't make a big difference. So do you think the key yeah, should right, be yes. buffed, right? There should be something no, added no. to the oh, chest. Yeah. No. I think they need I to, they need Rise, to go it. back to I fucking disagree. Bando, Scott Wars here. The men are talking here, all right? <laughs> no, well, I feel like Wilderness Slayer is already very rewarding. You know, this is just an extra icing on the cake. Like, let's, here's, let's keep it that here's way. Here's what they need to do. How about yeah. they make the, they lower the amount of loot you get, make the key more common. I mean, they could do that, but you know I, I things i think things being rare, more rare is better you know because it I makes mean, you feel better when you get it You're like, dude, yes I, I feel like i've got i feel like i've got some decent grounds to talk to uh about this subject i recently did like 1 to 80 slayer through purely wildy slayer on my new account Damn. and um what you're saying about it being like a cherry on the top wildy slayer if you do it right is very profitable exactly and i i do agree with what you're saying but at the same time, because this is in the wilderness, I do feel like the value of each of those chests should be significantly more with the current drop rate than what the, mm -hmm. the Konar uh, things are. Because this is in the wildy, so there's risk to everything. It's like, when, when I did wildy slayer, I made a lot of money. But to be honest with you, the average player probably won't because they're going to panic and die to guys in Exernium robes. Like, yeah. I, yeah. I, didn't, I, I could probably count on two hands. Probably just one hand, in fact, the amount of times I died doing will be If you're still counting one. on your hand, you know, I'm just going <laughs> 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 hey. but, but, but seriously, I, I, I feel like if they stay at the drop rate they are right now, the loot should be significantly more. Um, mm -hmm. And if, the if they increase like, the drop rate, you know? keep it as it is. Well, you can I, get... I don't know, really but know. I, okay. People I get pure essence. Keys be opened by C Engineer, and it was like swordfish. Yeah. Uh -huh. It can be cold. Yeah, it's like, it's the essence. same as the Konar table. Oh, it is. It's the same. Oh, the okay. okay. It's the same thing without the uniques. I mean, I think at the very least they need to add some cool wilderness uniques to it. How there about... should be. See, the thing is, Ronnie Smith, I, I get where you're coming from, but yeah, 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 this yeah. is supposed to be a wilderness update, and it seems like it's more yeah, of a like Iron Man Slayer yep. update. It does not seem like a. P mm -hmm. I'm PKing these guys. I can make more at revs tenfold, and I got a team of five blocking aggro, and I'm just trying to. I'm just doing it for fun. Right, these guys barely drop keys when I'm hunting them. Imagine trying to solo PK a key, maybe one every five hours if you get lucky. You have to have aggro blockers, yeah. some of the most distinct yeah, okay, places in the wild. I don't, I don't think that's the issue of rarity. I think that's just the issue of the reward. Well, it's supposed yeah. to be a wilderness update. Yeah, so I mean, if they want to make the reward higher, I don't have a problem with that. You know, it should be it's rewarding when you get a key. You know, exactly. it doesn't feel rewarding. It's it just feels like, oh shit, yeah. now I gotta go up to 50 wild to get 200k, you know? Yeah, or they yeah, could do something where yeah. they can have a little symbol above their head if they've got a key in their inventory Ooh. and it always drops on death and can't, little, be, little, can't be protected. That's it. They should raise the stakes if they're adding the symbol. That'd be dope. A little symbol over, like a little dead yeah. man key, uh -huh. and then it gives like more yeah. loot out, and that'd be fire. Oh. <laughs> That could be cool. Yeah, actually. yeah. Like I'm not saying I'm not saying it shouldn't be rewarding. I'm just saying we should just keep it rare. You know. Yeah, that's fair. It's just because very underwhelming for PK. Yeah, this like, game is like this. You know what I mean? When you make the RNG drops too, like not RNG, it's just predictable. Then it's like I'm down for rarity, nothing, you buddy. I mean, you don't get any feeling. I'm down for rarity. I like, just want something. From make it. it rewarding. Sure, go ahead if you Dude, want. Dude, if I can chip in a little bit more as well, the Wildy Slayer grind from level one to level eighty. Uh, the XP per hour I was getting was atrocious. Like, I mean, if I was getting over fifty, if I was getting over fifteen thousand star XP an hour, I was doing really well. So, mm -hmm. considering that, like at the moment, I'm just doing regular Slayer, and I mean, if I'm not getting over twenty-five to thirty XP an hour, I've had some terrible tasks. So, yeah, no, considering the experience difference, the fact that you're taking the risk in being in the wilderness in the first place, yes, you can get mysterious emblems. But I do think that the keys should have more loot than what they currently have. I, I'd go as far as saying at least an extra 50%, if not double what it currently is. Yeah, that, that's mainly due to the fact that Jagex, um, they, they're, you know, I don't want to roast them too much, but they, they <laughs> fucked up with the Slayer rewards, not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Like, they made them way too fucking rewarding, dude. Way too rewarding. Oh, I, oh, I agree. In general, yeah, or... yeah, just Slayer, dude. They, like, think about Slayer this. Slayer is Gargoyles, insane. bro. Oh, yeah. Like, you can fucking AFK that shit for 500k an hour. 
Mm-hmm. Seriously, or, or if not, if you try hard and like maybe even up. No, dude, way. do you, do you like, guys? <laughs> sorry, sorry, keep going. You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, it all started with Wyverns. Council <clears throat> Wyverns a long time ago. Oh yeah, the drop table busts are insane. Fuck yeah, like Wyverns, the moment dude. they set that president, it was over, dude. Because then they president? decided to do it for. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they did that for Necros, Gargoyles, mm. Karas, and then they they they're like, you know what? That's not enough. Let's do Superior Monsters. I mean, Superior Monsters, I think was pretty good. But then they're yeah. like, you know what? That's not enough. Konar Slayer drops mm -hmm. resources. And they're going to add another elf like, Slayer lady, right? The crystal monsters. Yeah, I don't like, fucking know. Yo, what is going on, dude? Slayer's already like everybody in their mom wants to do this shit. Why are you making it even more rewarding, you know? Dude, all I can say about how OP Holy Slayer fuck. is is that, you know, I've, I watch a couple Iron Man YouTubers, Holy you know, fuck, and man. all of them that do Slayer a decent amount. All I've noticed is that they don't worry about gold anymore. Like getting gold on an Iron Man is not a thing you do anymore. No, you just train your Slayer to 99, and you've got like all the gold you ever need. Think about it this way: back when I played Iron Man, about started Iron Man three years ago, right? There wasn't yeah. the OP gargoyles, you know, dropping you alkaboles. Like you know what I mean? The, the only thing that you had going maybe was the skeletal wyverns, and that shit was mm -hmm. terrible compared to like gargoyles that we have. What would you guys so, do like, if they really, did a clean you, wipe? on like all the op slayer monsters and anything in the game that that'd seems be great bro I'd, like you know, zoro was nerfed awesome, everything dude. pretty much nerfed to the ground well in one wipe and just tested it times already. no i mean like an insane yeah, wipe. i think yeah. zoro is pretty good right now forecast like some... is pretty fucked most of the slayer creatures are pretty fucked mm -hmm. yeah those, those two especially what about uh, like a 2015 wipe right like yeah. gp 2015 yeah. Yeah, that'd, that'd be like great. the max amount i mean not not, not like a wipe but just like a chain just like a revert you know, well, the problem you'd be is pretty much balance. to balance the game around Iron Man. Yeah, no, they. It's not really. I see that argument. I don't think it's necessarily true because it it benefits oh, technically everybody if you have like OP Slayer monsters. Like, cause like who and their mo like who doesn't do Slayer, right? Like, right. Not it's true. not Iron Man. Everybody does it. But the thing is, is that most of these updates will naturally benefit Iron War because main accounts they don't benefit that much because they use the GE, right? Right. everything's already consolidated but for an iron man pretty much almost any update that's gonna happen to the game won't benefit them extremely because they don't use the ge they can't use the ge so anytime something more convenient or more resources apply to an update then iron man will naturally benefit more so i don't think it's the issue of iron man it's just the issue of jagex it's too they're too used to catering to like you know like uh catering to supplies you know the, the idea yeah. that we should just make everything more predictable. They're, that's that's what it is. It's just they're making everything too predictable, because like you know, wyverns, right? Five hundred k an hour. It's pretty predictable. Mm -hmm. And then the gargoyles, five hundred k an hour all the time, every time. And then they did like soul It's always two mil an hour, three mil an hour. Forecast always two mil an hour. Always so you want to you want to go back to where it's like uh, like God Wars, where you don't really profit. Yeah, um, like I, I wouldn't them. say like it should always be like that. But the thing is, is that they they've been continuously trending on the predictability aspect, right? Yeah. Like making everything just so standardized. Like which mm -hmm. what what boss hasn't come out or what new mob hasn't come out that isn't like a predictable GP hour that you can make every single hour, right? Because like God Wars was a good example where not every hour you were gonna be making three mil, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe in the long run, if you spend long enough time and you finally get a drop, you might get an hour, right? But like yeah. at Vorcat, it doesn't matter. <laughs> at any Vorcat. given hour, you will make two mil an hour, three mil an hour. It doesn't matter. Right. Even. You don't need <clears throat> luck. You just do it. Same thing with gargoyles, right? Like those Slayer monsters. You spend an hour. It's not like once in a while you get lucky. You make you might make 500k. No, it's every single hour you'll make 500k, right? That's true. Chemical Hydra. It's not like oh I need to get the lance drop so I can make two million hour. No, it doesn't matter. Every single hour you're gonna make two million hour. It doesn't. You know what I mean? It's always the same. Yeah. No, you're and, right. You're right. And, and clean just, wipe. Twenty twenty, dude. Yeah, it's just. Mm -hmm. Just take out all the supply because, drops from every monster, yeah. all right, except for like two that have like, no you, you drops. Know you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. You know why like PK is obviously complaining? I can't make enough money doing wilderness. Of course you can't because they overdid PVM. You know, Jagex fucked it up. Dude, like, who's not making enough money from PK and dude? They they suck ass. I mean, boy. but that's a lot of the complaints though. <laughs> they right? suck fat like, ass, man. Like don't lie to me, cause like I be on, I hear, I go on Twitter, I go on like Twitch, I always hear people complain about like. It's not rewarding enough, you know. It's, it's like it's nothing like Vorcat, cause you're you're right, cause it is nothing like Vorcat, dude. I I don't think you go PKing expecting every hour to be like three mil, right? Like Vorcat is like that, dude. It doesn't matter when you do it, how you know what I mean. You just make you just make that much anyways, no matter what. So yeah, it's like really, it's it's it sucks, cause if you make every single boss, every new mob just predictable, 
like that. Because then it's going to set a bad precedent because then you're always like, this new boss isn't making me three more an hour like four cat all the time. You know? <laughs> like, fuck. Well, this their constant then, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, dude, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah, when it comes so... to... When it comes to like Bandos, like my luck at Bandos notoriously absolutely horrible. Yeah. But like mm -hmm. my, my experience is this, like I could go an entire week and make nothing from Bandos and just break even. And then yeah. I'll have like one day where I'll end up making like a hundred mil from mm -hmm. like that box. Yeah. It's, it's exactly. insane. Yeah, I, I see what great. you're saying. I, I think what you're trying to get at then is just like, they're bringing in monsters that just have like mundane, random rune slash alcohol drops. Well, yeah, where it's they're... too predictable. That's what it the, is. It is predictable, yeah. So you prefer the like the unknown. Like you don't know um, what you're gonna so get. What you I'm, could either get very I'm... lucky or very unlucky. So, so what I'm saying is that we shouldn't just have that. It's really hard to explain because there's a lot of factors. No, I feel you like because there were certain is... monsters like um, what's those green blob fuckers? What are those things called? Little green Jelly? fuckers. No, they like do this shit. Ever inspector. Yeah, yeah. Ever inspector. And you'd farm oh, those okay. for what herbs, right? Back in the day, and there was mm -hmm. the, like not a lot of monsters you could farm for herbs that well. Well, now it's like you can kill any drop, and you get like noted rainars, right? They should stick yeah. to having a couple so, monsters have a couple base drops, and then when those new monsters come yeah. out, they should only have uniques that are rare so you don't so just farm like something for everything theme. yeah That's yeah good. exactly that's true that's mm -hmm. another issue is that you know everything's splashable now every mob mm -hmm. just drops practically everything so you kind of yeah. don't have to worry about like focusing on skilling it's also devalued <clears throat> the fuck out of a lot of the skilling activities big time mm -hmm. you know not the, there's not much incentive to update skilling because there's no point like i have the resource skills dead content for the most part unless you're maxing yeah. literally the only mm -hmm. thing that's holding it is max cape because otherwise, there's literally no point in get, doing those gathering yeah. skills. Because why would you do that when you can kill a boss or like a fucking slayer creature that that will give you it at higher volumes? Spe right? Speaking of skilling, issue. dude, have you seen so, the warding, yeah. the forty-one warding page yeah. thing? What the fuck's up with <laughs> I didn't that? Read it. Oh, yeah. I heard about um, I it. I didn't get to it. But Did they actually? Is that is this not a meme though? So. That's a thing. That's no, it's really a no, forty-one true. page Google Doc. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but um, <laughs> hey man, before before uh, you know, I I just want to say last thing just to clarify. So I'm not saying we can't have standardized predictable drops. I'm just saying don't make it the same. You know what I mean? Don't make it like that all the time because that's what they've been doing. Every single boss update's been like that the whole time. You know. Yeah, you don't want everything to feel the same. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I course. feel you definitely. We might as well finish. It. <laughs> Oh, here. Yeah, hey, yeah. stay in so, center yeah, like, here. Bring stay back the balance, bro. You know, bring, bring back that balance, right? Of, yeah, like, no, I a God Wars drop table from time to time and something predictable from time, right? All right. No, that's fair. Yeah, exactly. That's that's just all I like I it. Say. I mean, I, I, I do see what you're saying, but then at the same time, dude, like, they do bring out stuff like that. Like, I, what's... Right, so I've not killed hey. the Hydra boss. But like they have really? huge uniques with it. Are there are there a lot of like random little rune drops? Like, yeah, they have the, the leather sack and no, the tail. Like, well, uh, hydras are OP as fuck, dude. It doesn't matter. All I could say, yeah, if it you don't get the lance, you still make like three, two to three, three million, three, three million hours. Yeah. Really normal. Yeah, it's yeah, insane. Yeah, yeah, like literally, you do ten kills, you make at least a mil. Okay. Yeah, at the very least, worst yeah, drops. No. Yeah. Unless they do a huge I, I wide rework, man, I don't There's think no we're gonna example. get anywhere with this because future updates yeah, wouldn't no, matter. I, 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 that's yeah. where I'm ending it. That's True. Where I'm ending it. True. Get a well, get a it's... better mix of job tape. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was about to ask. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. I don't know if there'd be like a uh, huge. You know um... ones? Uh, no, actually. All right. You know what? Let's finish up the oh, wilderness. Okay, okay. So. Uh, we talked about yeah. the keys. You can PK them, the, the drop tables. Let me tell you about the wine of Zamorak. All right. They have a new spot <laughs> noted. It's uh, connected to the fire giant pit, which is about 50 wild near the wilderness agility course. And you can go down deep, huge cascading hallway, all the way to a, uh, a wine spot. And if you have the hard diary, you can get noted wines. And I, this, I could say this now, right? Don't tell anyone one hour Wednesday because it's going to be out on Sunday. I went there for an hour, anti decaying <laughs> right, and ancestral, hoping to get attacked with a mage cave swap. Guess who attacked me? Take a guess. Torvesta. It was Torvesta. No one. Two level. <laughs> <laughs> no one attacked me, man. All right. You know who tried to attack me, though? A level 60 with a mud staff, okay? 55 <laughs> fucking wild. This man's TBing. What are you doing? 
All right, and then he had a backup buddy, level 63 in ghostly robes, dude. And then I saw another level 59. What the flying fuck are you PKing out here for? All right? There, <laughs> what are you doing? So I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I found this area on the Wilderness Agility course, and you can go down in the ladder because it's underground, and you can mm-hmm. scout, right? So I had a really beautiful scout set up. All right, so whole hour goes by. How many people do you think I scouted? I checked all the worlds. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Uh, probably zero. Really? Wow. How's that? Do you know what? I'm just thinking. Do you know what would instantly make that? Now, this is something you guys are going to hate, but if they made it so that, like, there was a random rotation on one in every ten worlds, every five worlds, whatever, there would be a mysterious emblem that would spawn next to that wine azami. That would make that place so much more active. <laughs> just be <laughs> naked, imagine- dude. You know, just chilling there. <laughs> But yeah, you imagine, yeah. yeah, but the thing is, it's lost on death as well. Like, yeah. imagine how like booming that place would be. Mysterious emblem spawns you once know what? every I don't know every two minutes. In that'd that'd one be out sick. Of five bodies, bro, that would be like, sick. I know we could kill the bots. Uh, that'd be dope. At one in five worlds, like, or you know, make it as rare as you want. People just switch around. PK. That'd be sick. All right. Yeah, but you know what it is, man. It's just there's like so many spots for for uh, there's so many spots, but not enough PKers to cover. That that's what yeah. Well, and there's no incentive for them because, like, I don't know who's yeah. going to be even doing that wine thing. Like, Dude, it's a mill an hour. Mom just kind of go to the lows. It is, but it's like you need hard diaries, and I don't know. I feel like people, by the time they get yeah. to that point, they're already doing something else. My, my yeah, peer is hard yeah, diaries. True, but do you know how scared people are of the wild, man? I know, but this is ins- you know how many people have the diaries done and just like Iron Man, you know Iron Man. Come on, you know how Iron good that Man is. Six hundred lines an hour. Make it I popular, saw nobody. Gotta make it popular. I saw a bot level sixty, unnoted, getting attacked by the Zamorak mage and then died. That's what I saw there. <laughs> That's the only person in f- five hundred worlds. That's it. First off, yeah. they're botting this spot. This is a new bot spot because it's safer. And I'm thinking yeah. the PKers are there to kill the bots. But they're going 55 wild through a cascading hallway to get, what, 40k loot that they have to bank? Chop some yew trees, yeah. fuckers. What are you doing out here? This is the dumbest shit. I don't know. It just, it just I mean, made me salt. I, I, I'm really sad that it's not doing very well. But you like, know what you do? Make it popular I'll be, video. Dude, the only people that are going to realistically PK there, and this might have been something that they overlooked... Are people that have done, I believe it's the heart of the elite diary to skip the shadow spiders, which drain your prayer. Like, because if mm. you've got to run the entire way rounds, you shouldn't be there. You're going to get smited and lose your plus one. So this is only catered realistically. Well, well you know, there's a end players. There's a medium agility the spot, right? To get from fire uh, giants the new to. One. Yeah, yeah, the little agility spot. You can you can yeah, cut yeah, through yeah, yeah. From, from the staircase to the you got yeah, yeah. like a hard diary. To no, that's the medium. That's the medium. The hard is for noted. So oh. if you're oh okay, because well I've not done it anyways. So. Yeah, no, I feel <laughs> you there. But the, there would be no reason for you to even come out if you're just unnoting. That's how far away it is, right? Like so, you'd have to go there just to get noted for fast spawns. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like this idea of attracting players into wilderness by adding more resources. I think that strategy has kind of uh, peaked, if that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. If they, maybe, maybe if they had like um, a Zami mage boss that was there that dropped like, I don't know, say like between 10 and like 50 uh, one Azami's noted or something. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm really sad that's become dead content because I saw that before mm. it was released and it looked mm-hmm. awesome. I, I thought it had yeah. great potential, but yeah, I yeah, think it does right, too. There's just not enough there offered. You know, yeah, you're right. yeah, so I mean, I can definitely see I'm in going here potentially to do this, but the problem is is that um, there's a lot of new ways of getting the wines now. So if you're like a high yeah. level Ironman, you're probably doing theater of blood. May, if you're, you're not, you're not doing theater of blood, though, too. let's be real. It, if you're so, not doing theater of blood, this has got to be the best way for wine, honestly. Yeah, no, it's definitely honestly, this is hour, yeah. this is yeah. sick. If I was playing Iron Man, I'd be all over this yeah. shit, and I can't believe I didn't find one person. You have to check the PvP you know, I do like, yeah. I do like that idea you said about the... Uh, yeah, Zane I mean, look, bro, in, if Kelfight Queen didn't exist and, like, um, Theater of Blood didn't exist... Mm-hmm. I heard you guys. Don't worry, I heard you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, like, the Spider right Boss. Yeah. No, you're yeah. right. Like, if that would give... With... Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, it definitely give incentive, and they could have it drop, like, maybe max 50 noted uh, when Azami's, yeah. which is what... I don't know how much that is, maybe close to 100k... But yeah, like, if you were doing thing. if you were doing that while Teddy grabbing at the same time, like I'm really sad that's died and that's been out for like a week and I, I think four it was days. A nice addition. Dude, 
Well, you if, gotta, you, if you like, make a boss there, you got to bring gear. So then you're risking something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was rocking 30 mil risk well, I mean, unscold. Bring, no can, one attacked me. You can bring like, the cheap gear, though. You, mm -hmm. yeah. True. Just but, but it doesn't matter if you take cheap gear. It's like yeah, if they're dropping up to like 50, 50 ones of Zami, that's like 100k kill. Yeah, the ones are Yeah. And even then, like, uh, it's I still a... I imagine the ones of are cheap as hell now, though. Like, you know that hallway yeah. that you got to tank? That's, what, like, four or five mm -hmm. freezes? But once you get past that, and if you have a lockpick or... I mean, even that um, agility shortcut is, like, a four-second instance. So as, if you're mm -hmm. not getting hit by, like, an insane clan who are, what, going to split the lines, which is very <laughs> unlikely. Like, they're, most of those Perfect. clans are so shit, you're going to escape every time. No, it's no. super simple. But that's the thing. Like, that's the wrong mindset to have because there's a food chain in the wilderness, isn't there? There's the bad PKers that kill the PVMers, so you get your Mysticers or Exernium Rogue Warriors, and then you get the better PKers who are upgraded into Mystics, into Arims, and then you get the clans which are in Ancestral, Max Gear, etc., which are killing those people. You're never so going to find them here, though. For itself. You're never going to find them They just need an incentive to be there. Yeah, you know what it is, bro? There's not enough marketing, dog. So, man, once you make your video, if it pops, mm -hmm. you know... You I feel bad, though, man, because most of my videos are pretty, you know, exciting, and I'm just chilling here just angry as fuck, because not only do I, I switch <laughs> every fucking world, the, that, the hopping system right now is so fucked, it took me forever. 48 mm -hmm. minutes to check mm -hmm. every Dude. world. Nothing Dude, for do you know it. You were talking, do you know you were talking about angry PVMers that were uh, you were killing for the keys, right? Yeah. So... I, 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 like I said, I did Worldly Slayer from level 1 to level 80, basically. And I met somebody doing regular Slayer at Black Demons the other day, a PVMer. And he was by far more toxic than any person I found in the Revenants, Venonatus, and the Worldly. Like, I put my cannon down at the Black Demons. He was there in a Saradoman sword and, like, full toy ranks. And he instantly said, I hope you die. Okay? So I, I, I ignored it. I ignored it. I was like, I'll be the bigger person. It's fine. I'm going to sit here with my cannon, finish my task. Tell it away, got another task, skipped it, got black demons again. Came back, the dude comes up to me and he says, he's like, hey bro, is it okay if you trade me two prayer pots for two food? <laughs> and it was the same guy. And I just put, no. I just replied, no. And then he spent the next 10 minutes insulting me and my family and telling me to die. Literally, I was just like, oh, what man. the fuck? But like, it was the funniest shit. I wasn't even responding to the guy. And mm -hmm. it, it took him two minutes to think, like a solid two minutes to think of like something to say as an insult like it took this man two minutes to basically say i'll be seeing your mum later that's how long it took him to come up with it and i was just sat there like oh my he's fucking got that Lord. aol ping bro he's oh uh, yeah you should have you should have <laughs> traded the purr pops and yoded him away real quick that's what i did to the um <laughs> this guy helped me get a kill and he was talking dude. shit the whole time and he goes hey give me a split so i was like all right and i slapped an emblem up and i took it away he goes, thanks, and he teleported away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him so hard. It is great. You gotta try that shit. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. Fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, but that's that's pretty much yeah. That's pretty much the wildy updates. Really wilderness related mm -hmm. updates that definitely don't help Iron mm -hmm. Man and PVMers uh, coming to the game. <laughs> so thanks, Jagex. That was fantastic. Yeah, I had, I had a great time. Be, you know. Yeah. Are we watching a video or are we going through uh, some of the RuneScape 3 stuff now? Well, I mean, are we, the, the question is, would, are we continuing or would we like to yeah, just yeah. kind of wrap it up? Yeah, yeah, we got RuneScape 3 I mean, McGee what, right here, dude. We got to hit what it up. What content do we have? Uh, yeah, well, we got so, the Crystal um, Sword, you know, I guess. Yes, oh, like, right, right. Yeah, I think we'll save the Elf City stuff, you know, for... Okay, I just want to say, though, this it, sword... It, all right, just to... Whole update. Go ahead. Whole patch right here. This for that. That thing. <laughs> that is a whole thing. Yeah, the salad blade. Probably cost is like this, eighty thousand and like just mm. sorry. Is this update the reason why the Dragon Axe has doubled in price in the last two weeks? No, yes. that's that's another oh well not this particular one, but what one the... of the skilling updates for Elf City is the reason. Ah why. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. dude, I'm so glad I hung on to them. My ac my D axes were like fifty four K and now they're like ninety six K. Yeah. How many and do I'm you just have? Like, why the fuck have they doubled in price? Uh, I've got six at the moment. I've just been okay. Oh, okay. Get out of here, bro. That's not they're, a lot. They're worthless, man. <laughs> I thought Dude, you had. Like, yeah, I'm glad I, I kept them. I made two hundred k. Get out of here, yeah. bro. I thought you had like two k <laughs> like, on your main no. or some shit, bro. I was like, this they're man like, making bills. They're, they're like you. out price. Listen, <laughs> wait, listen. If you're playing the game on a medium to low level account and you're paying for mo membership for the money you earn in game, that two hundred k is a lot of money, dude. 
Dude, I used to merge. No way, trust me. Nah, nah. But I used to merge those uh, dragon axes back when Roadscape came out for like two point five mm-hmm. mil on Zyves. Oh, Can you imagine nice. now they're fifty k? What the fuck happened? Dude? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, it, people just freaking camp Dagonauts. They like, should have made those more rare or something, mm-hmm. dude. Because yeah, well, that's they, sad they, to they see. have to now. I mean. Because yeah. you remember back in the day, you yeah, see a like guy with a nice dragon axe, he's chopping, you're just like, oh my god, look at that fucking, you just start rubbing yourself? Not yeah. anymore, dude. Not anymore. <laughs> it was scary dude. back in the day, bro. You die, you lose your shit. You can yeah. get back. I'm I sure. mean, gone oh, have the days when you go to the yeah. Dagonoff Kings and Guffins. Like, mm-hmm. nobody's went to the DKs and Guffins in, like, probably five years. Thanks to people such as Guides for All of Us for making it known that it's a very easy boss to kill. I included myself, I've made it, I've made a DK guy. So we have the problem yeah, with I mean, us like, in the Discord right. is what you're saying. Yeah, so like, <laughs> you know, Dagon Kings was really hard back in the day because it would take you so long to get there. So if you died, yeah. you lost your stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, no staminas as well. Like dogs. Yeah, you lost your stuff, period. So that's yeah. why there wasn't that many people doing it because that shit was a haul. Like it was a trek, man. Yeah. Like I yeah. knew if I died, like I remember one time I died because uh, I exploded and Lava Baby Prime killed me. I knew my shit was gone because I couldn't make it back on time. Dude. But luckily, some random oh. dude picked up my shit and gave it back to me. Oh, man, nice guy. oh my god! All right, before we before we wrap this up, I will go. Yeah. I will tell you guys a nostalgic story. This was back in pre OC when there were gravestones. Now, if you're not familiar, familiar right. with gravestones, one of your friends just needs to bless your gravestone or it disappears after like a minute or two minutes, right? So I was at the Dagonoff Kings. I, I believe there wasn't a trade limit at the time. And if there was, it didn't matter. Money was hard to come by. Yo, thanks for making my face look so yeah, good. Yeah, I like it. So I was doing um, the Dagonoff Kings with one of my closest RuneScape friends, bless him, Christoph. He's from, uh, he's from Belgium, right? And we were in TeamSpeak at the time. And my internet like just shut off. It completely died. And I DC'd. And... Um, I can't remember what happened, but I think that he ended up logging out for some reason inside of the room. So I said to him, I was like, dude, I was like, please, 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 please log in and bless my grave. That's my entire bank. It was about 20 mil, right? <laughs> he logged in, full Armadil, Bandos, like Arcane. This guy was rich and he fucking died. And he <laughs> obviously, neither of us could bless each other's graves. <laughs> and I'm not even joking. Like, I love Kristoff the bits. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but that guy was crying in TeamSpeak, man, and I felt so <laughs> fucking bad. And he lost like 200 mil, and I lost 20 mil. And like, oh. he, he genuinely, he genuinely was crying, man. And like, he left the TeamSpeak afterwards and didn't play the game for like a month until he came. Oh my god! Dollars. Seriously, it like broke my heart. Yeah, take him out to dinner, dog. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a Phil. That's a Phil's bad man moment right there. Oh, dude. Dude, dude it right. was painful, man. Back in the gravestone days, that shit mm-hmm. sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Sucked big time. Cause like, I remember when they first came out, you got like a crappy little like it was a cross. Yeah. And it lasted like, for like five minutes or some shit. Yeah, it was like no, like yeah. we didn't have, we did not have time to get back there. Yeah. Feels bad, man. Yeah, it was like a little ply board, you know, in the yeah. beginning. <laughs> <laughs> so what yeah. you're saying so is though, continue, or... the economy no, in RuneScape, Sorry, man. All right, all the items crashing is because they got DDoSed and people were picking up their items when they died PVMing. So we could pretty much blame the economy on the shitty servers, right? So if RuneScape just had better servers, we'd probably be fine right now. I'd imagine we'd have yeah. the gravestones or whatever the fuck. People would get DDoSed on stream for their full armor or whatever the mm-hmm. fuck. Because people would hit off worlds, I remember, back in the day. And then yeah. they just wait for you to die and log in. It started, I remember very vividly. It started with the Corporal Beast update. That's when the DDoSing like, was rampant. When yeah. The, came out. the strategy remember. was pretty simple, right? You needed a lot of people to kill Corp, and obviously everybody brought some really good gear. And Corp can basically two-hit KO you if you're not paying attention for even a split second. So mm-hmm. you mass DDoS the entire world, everybody at Corp dies. So fuck. You log in on your dude, you oink all their shit. Yeah. yeah. And then dude. it caught on, and then people started doing it everywhere, you know? Yeah. I, I remember the, uh, the first day Corp was released, I went there. And I just remember, like, I, I literally tallied to Corp. I wasn't even in a world with a team. And I just saw red dots inside yeah. of Corporal Beast. And I right-clicked, and I just saw Zami Spear at Carol's top. And then literally about, like, three or four 
like naked accounts just ran in and picked it all up and i was like oh this isn't a good idea <laughs> <laughs> that's so fun that is so fun oh, yeah no i was i wanted to do more but it kept, i kept disconnecting and i was like oh fuck, mm -hmm. no, this is not this ain't happening dude i ain't going there no <sighs> so bad God, they could it, was, do a, it was bad they could do a death system like uh rs3 where you got to pay a percentage of whatever you want i mean they, yeah. i'm i'm basically was talking about it. that yeah you have to pay 10 percent. it's gonna happen it's, it's, it's gonna happen back. eventually it'll it's help the happen. economy and it'll make it so there's no incentive to ddos at pvm stuff so. yeah and it'll also make it uh like actual risk to bring like insane fucking gear everywhere yep because mm -hmm. currently you can kind of just abuse the system and bring the best of the best gear with no penalties whatsoever can you Back imagine day, paying you like yeah. a 300 mil tax you on your that. gear though like 10 percent, you just rock no, it's, no, it's no not way, that no. crazy Dude, no but way, in... not 300 mil. No, in RS3, like, if people bring yeah. really good gear to something, they die. They could they could have to pay 15 mil, 20 mil to get it back if they're in like full maxed out gear. But yeah, I That'd think in, nice. in old school, our mm -hmm. GP value isn't like that crazy. I, I mean, our GP yeah. wealth is still pretty higher, so I, I feel like a one mil maximum fee for dying is pretty good. Like yeah, let's say you bad. bring like two bill gear, right? You only pay a mil mm -hmm. for dying. They should do it's bonds. You have to buy a bond to get your shit back. <laughs> 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 That's Holy that's shit. seriously something they should. Uh, they consider. have to. They're gonna have uh, to eventually. I mean, because yeah. I feel like that opens a lot of doors because they yeah, haven't wanted. Sure. To, do you remember the old PvP EP system that everybody, questionably, not everybody, but most people loved, where you could effectively just sit there and get 100 EP, yeah, risk 75k. Like people enjoyed doing that, right? You could PK all around the wilderness. The wilderness was active. <laughs> all of that stuff like considering if they were to do that and the amount of money that would come in out of the game because of it and also the fact that there's now tax on the doom arena like those two yeah. things could completely make up for that like they could right actually back, introduce that into the game <laughs> they need to do something like that for real oh man mm -hmm. they could right anyways you guys want to wrap it up yeah i mean we can talk to guide about other topics in the future we Hell yeah, man. Board, you know? Yo, guys, you've been an awesome guest, man. It's been a pleasure to have you. Yeah, it's where been a blast. The, where can the people oh. find you, dude? Link they can page. find me over at uh, youtube.com slash guides for us all or twitch.tv slash guides for us all. I stream semi-consistently. He so. makes uh, Indian Everybody. tech reviews. Me, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, his Twitch is pretty good. His Twitch is pretty good. He's got. If you guys like, you know, anime-ish stuff, his viewers are. Ooh, oh, you Oak Dice that. boy! They're all weebs, dude. There all, we all, go. Listen, I don't even watch that much anime. I started watching Attack on Titan because they bullied me into it. But like, yeah. all my viewers are <laughs> into anime shit. like crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good shit, right? Dude, dude. Attack on Titan's amazing, man. I love it. Ish, if I not, <laughs> dude, if they don't show me what's in that basement scene, I'm gonna. No, yeah, don't worry, so. brother. You, you, the <laughs> oh, will be I haven't seen season three yet. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Right. I'll beat everyone's ass, dude. I ain't saying anything. I ain't saying dude. anything. All right. Uh, I'm not saying anything. Good yeah, stuff. So I meant fucked up the name. It's not guys for all us. It's guys for us. <laughs> I, I left him a message like an hour ago to tell him to fix it. Oh, my God. <laughs> just uh, just switch the all and the us around and you got it. It's too late, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Find it in the description. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just check. This yeah, we'll have it in the right. Dude, I'm a little yeah. dyslexic. All right, let's. Yeah, check him out. He's doing collection <laughs> on specialist. So if you're into uh, collection esque type of series, he's got that. Hey, you Those know, what, dude, just just to make it up for you, I'll have him twerk. Here you go, buddy. I got you. Oh, thank you there so you go. much. Oh, <laughs> you just made my day, man. Uh -huh. Wow, look at that bounce. Look at <laughs> I know. <laughs> there we go, dude. <laughs> Oh man, okay. I like it. All right, All right. Is, this, is this the outro? All right, <laughs> buy my Jets t-shirt. See you guys.